and welcome to our home! Kung nag expect ka ng modern house, ng tour sa isang bonggang beach house, I am sorry to say, this is not that good. But just the same, please allow me to share with you the space that we enjoy now and the simple life that we have. Welcome to Palay Eduardo! We believe that God blessed us so that we can be a channel of blessings to others. We made this channel so we can bless other people. So there's baking, there's cooking, there's working out, there are dogs, our adventures, our travels. Hi, I'm Nikki. I'm Bettina. And I'm Gummy. And this is A, a Blessing, Blessing Channel. channel. Woo! Hello, Poso. Good morning, Siga. So, on your first night, dapat kami natulog. Dahil hindi pa tapos ang kwarto ni Gami. So, yes. Dad, Mami, kami. Ito ang kwarto ni Yach and Gami at ang kamang pinitorahan ng mag-ama. May signature ka na. Sipag naman ang asawa ko. Oh. <laughs> Nag-escoba ng garahe. May bantay ka pa. <laughs> May bantay ka pa. Sobrang blessing nitong house na to kasi malapit siya kung saan yung pinapatayog namin na bahay namin talaga. And malawang siya. It's really the space that we need. So maluwag siya in the sense na kahit yung, yung bedrooms ay tulugan lang talaga. The common space, um, the dining area, the supposed to be living room na bakante, yun yung parang dump site namin. Kasi pag may mga gamit ang anak ko at ang asawa ko na not in place, dun ko na lang sila nilalagay. Tanggap ko na na hindi lahat ng gamit ibabalik kung saan sila nararapan at hindi nila yung magagawa. So, pupulo din ko na ilalagay ka na lang sa bed. So, less stress for me. Ito ang common space. Ang tawag ko dito ay dump site. <laughs> Kasi tambakan siya. So, before may table dyan na lalagyan ng kung anumang mahanap ko at mapulot kong gamit ng aking mag-ama. So, ngayon, ayan, surfboards, mga ilaw, mga pang-shoot namin, tripods, nandiyan siya. Mga helmet ni Daddy. For me, favorite ko yung garahe sa harap kasi maluwag. So, itong part ng garahe, kung saan yung poso, saan ang labahan, saan yung pool, dito rin yung pool, yung space talaga. So, dito sa table na to, sa area na to where we usually have our lunch or dinner with friends. Masaya yung poso kasi kapag mainit, malamig yung tubig sa poso. Oh, ang saya compared to dun sa tubig na galing sa water tank namin. Favorite part of the house yung duyan or hammock. So nabili ko yun at 350. Kapag meron kami dinner doon with friends or lunch or Bible study, tatanggalin lang namin yung, yung hammock. Maluwag yung space to accommodate 8 to 10 people. Kasha din yung pool. Yung inflatable pool kasi jellyfish season ngayon. So, delikado dahil ilang beses nang na-jellyfish yung gabi. So, we opted to buy a pool. At yung pool na yon ay nalalap na namin ng tubig kapag nag-overflow yung water pump namin. So, may instant waterfalls kami. Favorite spot namin yon yung poso at yung water pump pag nag-overflow. Siguro isang bagay na na-appreciate ko in this house. Ang bedroom dapat talaga pahingahan lang. Walang TV. Para yung common space, it's really for us to be together. So although wala kami sa sofa, we hang out most of the time sa table sa labas kasi mahangin. So I like na malaki yung common area kasi maluwag for the dogs to play for Gummy and, and Mickey pag magharutan sila. So the bedroom, yung bedroom namin, wala kami bed frame. Cushion lang. Yung bedroom ni Gummy at saka ni Atch, meron silang double deck na galing dun sa old house ni Mickey here, pero ni-refurbish. Tapos yung mag-ama ang nagtulungan na pinturahan yun ang puti. O yung pintor namin! Ah, kabagal-bagal ang pintor! Grabe naman! Ano ba? Okay, ma'am! Drop the brush! <laughs> ang mabait ng mga kapit-bahay namin. Namibigay sila ng pagkain. 
Nagbibigayan kami ng pagkain. Ang saya din na yung kapitbahay na ano, si Uncle Scott and si Dita Lodi ay may mga tanim na basil. So pag nagsaspaghetti kami, makikipitas kami. Yung landlord namin may sili. So pang sausaman sa patis, meron kami. Sa pangarap ko din magkaroon ng patch talaga of herbs, fruit bearing, plants, trees, tomato, sili, lettuce. Namumunga ng prutas na hitik na hitik na pwede mong hingin sa kapitbahay nyo. In exchange, may ipag-exchange ka. Pwede na po ako mag-donate sa community pantry. Saan ako medyo nahirapan in moving here? One, siguro yung pag-move ko from a condo to a house. In layers of security, diba? May guard house ka, may guard reception, the key card, swipe card, yung floor nyo versus a house na bukas na bukas. So that's one concern initially. One area I struggled with, parang first time ko yata nag-struggle sa submission sa asawa ko over small things for that matter. First was giving way or yielding to him when he didn't want to make the cabinets. So, tanong ko pala, yes, Leia siya. Ibig sabihin talagang agree siya. Pero pag nasa-sense para may hesitation, he resigned and accepted that he doesn't want. The blessing in submitting to him when he didn't really want to repaint the exterior of the cabinets. Plus, I realized na ah, meron pala akong problema in owning a place. Of course, the feel of the house is not my style. Hindi siya kasi modern ng condo namin. And the house for me is so Lola. Reminds me of my Lola's house. It was a reminder for me na I don't own this place. And it's also temporary. And another area, Magsha shopping kami. And essentials pa rin. My husband is so wise with body. And I'm the type na I don't care how much it is as long as it's nice to my eyes and I like it, I'll buy it. But for him, hmm, mahal ba? Pwede naman ito na lang. And as resisting it kasi plastic. Parang may isip ko tuloy, napapata pobre ko ba? Ayoko ng plastic na nagyan. Pero I submitted. Kahit medyo, may yung buka ko parang, okay, we'll get this. Submitting externally, pero yung heart ko, this is a break. Hanggang sa si God na yung nag-review sa akin na ano ba problema mo? Ano ba problema mo sa plastic? Ayaw mo bumili ng mura because mura siya. Bakit? Ano, may problema ka sa image mo? Parang, ah, oo nga. So, kabalikta rin naman yung nangyari. Sobrang in-embrace ko naman siya. O, edi, bili kami ng lahat ng oro kanya. Tara makita ko. Balde, patya, tabo, basurahan, drying rack. So, at one point, para akong endorser ng oro ka dahil in-embrace ko talaga yung kaplastikan na gamit. <laughs> Which is not so bad after all. Ako lang yung may ganung thinking just because lumaki ako sa Manila at sa condo. And I guess it's the blessing really in submitting to your husband na re-reveal sa'yo yung, yung rough parts of you, rough edges mo. Na re-refine. Areas that you can still go. Areas that you're blinded about. Remembering that God gave me Mickey, my husband, as an authority about me. And I vowed to submit to say yes. Kasi yung conviction ko talaga sa puso ko yun ba ako kami nakinasal na I will say yes to everything. Except kung kasalanan yung hinihingi niya. God revealed to me I have a problem with materialism. Siguro if there's anything else about living in this temporary home, nare-refine yung pagdali ko ng gratification. I realized, pwede namang hindi bumili ka ba? Pwede namang i-build ko na lang siya. So, that's actually one of the things I am excited about and looking forward to learning a new skill. Gusto ko mag-carpentry. If there's also one thing na na-appreciate ko is that I am learning to live by the essentials. So, what has the Lord been teaching me? through this move. One, in the area of ownership. Two, may pagka-materialistic pala ako. Number three, the blessing of submitting to the husband even in the smallest of things. And lastly, that it's the people and not the place that makes a house a home. So in ownership, because na rent lang to, I realized na I tend pala to own a space na ang hiling talaga siya. Kaya ako to na magtanto was when we first moved here, dami yung gusto ng gawin kasi yung gusto kong pinturahan yung cabin ng hati. As in, to really transform the space. Pero yung asawa ko wasn't fully agreeing the idea. Kasi ang sa kanya, hindi naman sa atin itong place eh. Bakit tayo yung gastos? And then that's when God also revealed to me may pagkamatinilistik pala ako in the sense na gusto ko lahat maganda sa tanin ko. Those 
those moments brought me back to experiences in the past. Kami Kami, before God bless us with our own condo unit, we were just renting for two years. And yung space na yun, yung bahay, yung condo unit na yun, I really owned it kasi I decorated it like my own home. And you know, the day came when I had to surrender the unit back to the owner. It was hard for me kasi ang dami ko nang ginalaw. Ang dami kong ginastos. Just to return it to its bare look, bare space. That also allowed me to shift my perspective earthly things, looking forward to eternal things. So I guess what God worked on in me is my attitude towards things, towards investing in things. Why invest in this house? Hindi ko naman siya madadala dun sa bahay namin talaga. What allowed me to overcome that materialism when I realized na ano yung materialism pala ako. Inembrace ko yung buong probinsya. I guess yun din yung isa sa mga blessing na umaayon ka sa alo ng buhay. May enjoy mo ko ano yung ino-offer sa'yo ngayon. Nagpapray lang ako ng Lord. Discharge my husband's heart until one day siya na yung nagsabi na parang magandang pinturahan niya naman puti. So pinikilig na ako kasi parang wow Lord, ating hindi siya sa'yo. As of yesterday, may natrag yung asawa ko to do some minor improvements, especially in the kitchen kasi most of my work is done there. So ginawa ko lang, pinuturahan ko na lang yung loob kasi medyo yellow siya siya. Siguro the most important thing that God has taught me, it's really not the place that makes a household. It's really the people. It's the love and the peace that you have in living with one another. You can have a house that's so organized, it's so neat, it's so clean. Pero lagi mo may inigurin mo just to keep it tidy. But you can also live in a home that's not exactly always organized, that's not exactly always neat. Pero you love one another, you laugh. You're free to move, to be. If God is with you, it's really His presence in your family that makes your house alive. Our family members, yun yung treasure talaga namin. As long as we're together, masarman kami talaga ng Diyos, we will be happy, we will be fine, we will be more than okay. Because we know that God is with us. Hi everyone, it's me Gami and today I'm going to be doing a house tour. So. I'm moving really slowly because there are two cats in here. That's milk. And another one there. That's little Oreo. So this is the outside where I like to hang out. So this is the side door. Then we have here my bike. Daddy's motorcycle. And we have our sampayan. Then the car. Okay, so we're now gonna go inside. So this is our kitchen. And here we have our table with mama's flowers. Here's where we can put some of our clothes. That's daddy's surfboard. And then here's mommy. And daddy. And babies. So. This is my room. It's my, one of my, it's my favorite part. Basically. So that's Yatch, and then Asher, and then Asher's sleeping now. So that's all. Bye! Say bye. Bye! 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 Say bye, Ash. Good boy. Bye! Taupo! Bye! <laughs>